To NATO and to our neighborhood of nations, may we continue to grow stronger and closer in all the years ahead. The president and first lady hosted NATO leaders and their spouses at the White House tonight. Before dinner in the East Room, President Biden offered a toast alongside outgoing NATO Secretary General Hans Stoltenberg. The 31 NATO allies and partners in attendance gathered with the president and first lady on the South Portico for a photo as the military band performed. This all as the president seeks to shore up support because Democrats on Capitol Hill are still wrestling over whether he is the best candidate to beat former President Donald Trump in November. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. President Biden tackling two fronts today, foreign policy at the NATO summit where member countries are pledging a new commitment to invest more in defense production. We can and will defend every inch of NATO territory. That after meeting with labor union leaders. We're going to grow the economy. Long a key source of his support. And I think of you as my domestic NATO. The president looking for political cover amid lingering doubts over his future. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi today stopping short of saying he should stay in the race. It's up to the president to decide if he is going to run. That despite the president repeatedly and forcefully saying he is running. A Pelosi spokesman later adding she fully supports what the president decides and that it's time to focus on the harm of a potential second Trump presidency. Precisely why other Democrats are raising the alarm. Donald Trump is on track, I think, to win this election uh, and maybe win it by a landslide and take with him the Senate and the House. In a New York Times essay, actor George Clooney urging Democrats to get behind a new nominee, just weeks after co-hosting a major Biden fundraiser, writing, it's devastating to say it, but the Joe Biden I was with three weeks ago was not the Biden of 2010 or 2020. He was the same man we all witnessed at the debate. And as many Democrats come to the president's defense. I support President Biden. Uh, he has been an excellent president. Former President Trump turning his firepower on Vice President Kamala Harris. Because we are going to beat any one of them. As he prepares to announce his own running mate. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.